He was a fourth-round draft pick out of a smaller college program, but Rams rookie defensive lineman John Franklin Myers is coming up big for the Rams. A defensive line that features veteran stars such as Aaron Donald, and Dominican Sue and Michael Brockers, Franklin Myers produced the game-turning play in last Thursday's victory over the Minnesota Vikings at the Coliseum. Advertisement late in the fourth quarter, Franklin Myers' speed rushed off the right edge and swatted the ball from quarterback Kirk Cousins' hand. Sue recovered the fumble and the Rams ran out the clock to secure a victory that improved their record to 4-0 heading into an October 7 game against the Seattle Seahawks. Franklin Myers' play, he was credited with a sack, highlighted the progress he's made since the Rams selected him out of Stephen F. Austin. Nothing like getting that first real sack in a real game, Franklin Myers said. I've been waiting on that. Before the season, the Rams' defensive line looked good on paper. But with Donald holding out for an extension and Dominique Easley's availability uncertain because of 2017 knee surgery, defensive line coach Bill Johnson said it would take time for everything to come together. Donald signed a $135 million extension the week before the opener, and defensive coordinator Wade Phillips moved Easley to outside linebacker. Rams Rams have a perfect record, but can they become record breakers? By Gary Klein September 28, 2018, 4.55 p.m. Brockers recorded a sock in Week 1 against the Oakland Raiders. Sue got his first sack in Week 3 against the Chargers, and then got another against the Vikings. Donald recorded his first two sacks against the Vikings. Then Franklin Myers stepped up. Happy to see the young guy coming out and enjoying the party as well, Sue said. Franklin Myers has benefited from practicing and playing alongside the veterans, Coach Sean McVay said. You see the way that Sue and that Brockers and that Aaron have kind of taken John under their wing and mentored him and continued to just watch him progress, he said. For him to be able to capitalize on an opportunity, get his hands on the ball and force it to come out at a critical moment, that's big. When Donald, Sue and Brockers are making plays, Franklin Myers said, he is compelled to do the same. They were happy for me, he said. I love these guys, stepping up with cornerback Akib Tlaib sidelined for at least seven more weeks. Sam Shields' role will continue to grow. Advertisement Shields played in place of Tlaib against the Vikings, the first time he started a game since the 2016 season opener, when he suffered a concussion while playing for the Green Bay Packers. Rams What we learned from the Rams 38-31 victory over the Minnesota Vikings by Gary Klein September 28, 2018, 8.50 a.m. against the Vikings, Shields played all 74 snaps, broke up a pass and finished with four tackles. It was different, Shields said. Not hard, but it was a challenge, just being away from this game and just being given that whole complete game. It was a lot. It wasn't all highlights for Shields. I thought he kept competing, McVeigh said. I thought there were some great plays that Vikings players made. Then they did a couple things that kind of got him out of whack a little bit in terms of just playing within the framework of the system. But, you look at just his story, what he's come back from, his movement, different things like that, I think he's a resilient competitor. I think he did some really good things and then I think he was also right there in a position to make some of those plays, atmospheric conditions the Rams will not play again at the Coliseum until October. 28 against the Green Bay Packers. A large and enthusiastic crowd like the one that cheered the Rams against the Vikings would be welcomed by McVay and his players. It was electric, McVay said, adding, you certainly felt that home field advantage. Hopefully, we have atmospheres like that all the time. Donald and Brockers were not shy about exhorting the crowd to cheer. They were in debt with us and they were behind us, Donald said after the game. That's what we need. We need to keep that up, etc. The Rams were off Saturday and they also will be off Sunday. They will meet Monday and begin preparations for the Seattle game.